For years, Minecraft structures are known to have traps that the average player can easily avoid. And since none of these traps pose as threats, I'm gonna transform these structures into trapping machines that not even the best players can not escape. Starting with desert temples. As we all know, they are easily avoidable. With the obvious pressure play and TNT, how does someone even fall for this? Well, considering no player can die from 6 TNT with maxed out armor, this definitely needs an upgrade. Instead of the pressure plate blowing up TNT, what if it set off 1,000 TNT minecarts and and had a bunch of camouflage pressure plates. But since players on this SMP are known to escape traps using pearls, I'll also add TNT around the walls. If there's a dispenser with lava under the pressure plate, when you stand on it, it will instantly shoot the minecarts blowing up the entire temple. However, I was going to need a lot of iron. Since one minecart is 5 ingots, to make 1,000, I would need 5,000 ingots. So I instantly started mining. And after six hours, I am done. I need to get off this game. After smelting all the iron and making all the minecarts, I was ready. But before I placed all the minecarts, I made sure everything was in its place. Because one small mistake and everything was gone. Another thing I made sure of was that no one was sneaking up on me. Because recently, I've been very inactive on the server, making me poor compared to my vicious enemies who've literally been grinding for months. So maybe if I kill them with redesigned Minecraft structures, I could gain back the power I once had. Regardless, I had to finish this trap. And I'm officially done with trap one. Let's go. Since my enemies will be trying to kill me, having a jungle temple in the middle of us will be perfect. Because when you go inside, it shoots one arrow at you. What was Minecraft thinking? Nowadays, any Minecraft noob can walk inside and barely take one heart of damage. So, we were going to need something very, very powerful. A instant damage 2 potion. They do 7 hearts of damage. The thing is, to make them, you need tons of materials, which have to only be available in the nether. Since I'm poor, this was going to be extremely difficult. Why do I do this to myself? Just gotta break this and that, and now all the materials are obtained. It was very, very easy. I literally almost died like four times. I need to make sure I don't die on my way back because I have to go build this. The potion splasher, three million something, I don't know. Where all the potions will be in the dispenser, so when a player steps on the tripwire, it will repeatedly shoot them out. And since my enemies only suspect one arrow, they will just walk over the tripwire with zero hesitation. The problem with this structure is that it's naturally dark. So if a mob spawns on the tripwire, all the potions will be wasted. Yo, oh my gosh, this dumb skeleton. After standing there for 10 minutes, five different mobs try to go on the tripwire. Oh my gosh, I, I actually need to do something. This is going to be really annoying. After researching for what felt like forever, I found a solution. Areas covered in bottom slabs are unable to spawn mobs no matter the light level. Okay, this is this is actually going to work. After replacing the floor with slabs, I felt a lot safer. That was until I realized what the next structure was going to be. The mine shaft with all the poisonous spiders and cobwebs. Who has actually died from one of these? Well, unfortunately, me nine years ago. But now, there are many ways to avoid this, like a water bucket or just mining the cobwebs with your sword. This trap is meant to keep players stuck, so it needs something that's actually unescapable. So if you build something like this, when the players walk over the gravel, they will fall into the pit, where all the spiders and cobwebs will be down below. To actually make this unescapable, we were going to need some obsidian, but the only place I know where I could find that is my enemy's base. Luckily, they weren't online, but for any reason they log on, I would instantly die. So I had to be quick i'm actually shaking because i know these guys give like literally zero mercy right as they see me they're gonna kill me i need to be quick just gotta spam looking chests come on come on yeah they're poor they're actually like poor what let's go let's go i gotta start stealing more often what the heck right as i got back i started building okay and part one of this trap is finished now i need to go get some cobwebs and done. Trap number three officially complete. Let's go. As I was walking out of the mine shaft, I heard something that would change everything. What was that? No, please don't tell me. It turned out that the temple had completely exploded due to an error I made when I was calculating the placement for each minecart. No, all that TNT and iron. Oh my gosh. Upon being discouraged, I knew if I quit now, I would continue to be the poorest player on the server. I'll also never get the chance to tell my enemies that 
that they died in Minecraft structures, terrible traps. So I gotta, okay, let's think. We need eight stacks of iron and at least six stacks of gunpowder. Let's do this, let's go. I ran into the cave I was mining in before and gathered as much iron as I could find, as well as killing any creeper I came across. And one day later, I was back at square one. I found another desert temple nearby and started to rebuild the trap with just a few more upgrades. Okay, to make sure these things do not blow up again, we gotta separate each one properly. Okay, that should work. Another thing I added was just a little more TNT above, just to make sure it's a little more deadly. Since I only have one try at this, it needs to kill them. Now that everything was completed, I was ready to use my newly redesigned structures to kill my enemies. But how? Well, by using my pornist to my advantage, I would send this message in public chat, stating if I'm killed in the next 30 minutes, they'll receive three IOUs that grant the ability to completely control me, as well as my exact coordinates which happen to be in the middle of the three structures. Since the value on IOUs are very high and I currently don't pose as a threat, the entire server would be out to get me. But this was all a part of my plan. You see, everyone wants their hands on these IOUs, meaning most likely the server will work against each other to kill me. So they'll show up in different groups at different times. And most importantly, they won't alert each other about my traps, allowing them to go off in secret. Keep in mind, even though this plan was a good idea, if they don't die, I'll fall deeper into the hole I've dug myself in. As I nervously sat and waited, I heard a noise. Yo, what was that? What was that? To protect myself, I instantly popped an invis pot. And truth be told, the first player arrived. Yo, he's here, he's here. Uh, I need I need to lead him. I need to lead him to the jungle. Okay, this should this should not be that hard. Because I just need to jump over the tripwire when I get there. Okay, okay, I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Come on, come on, come on. I need to jump over. I need to jump over. Let's go. Okay, come on. Let's go! Let's go! Oh my gosh, let's go! And after this player had died to the jungle temple, things only got crazier. Oh my gosh, it hasn't even been five minutes and oh my, KG's already here. I, I need to go quick because I need to go ahead of him. I need to break this block and it will fall where all the spiders are. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He won't expect there's no way. Let's go, one more structure left to go. Although these two traps were a success, the desert temple would be the hardest. Render's literally one of the best PvPers on the server, I can't lose. No, oh my gosh. Bro, I, I need to live. He has pearls. I'm, if, if he pearls again, I'm actually gonna die. There's no shot. I actually, I need to make distance for what I'm about to do. I need to spleef him into the temple. There's no way I can do this. Please, 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 please. Oh my gosh. Please, 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 there's no way. No way! What? Let's go! No way this just worked. Structures that were made for the worst players to fall for just killed some of the best players. After grabbing the player's loot, I was powerful again. Well, for now.